Hi, welcome to ThinkWave, the all-encompassing cloud-based platform. This webinar will be an overview of the Solo Teacher's Gradebook. From the ThinkWave homepage, scroll down to the right and click Live Demo. This is a fully filled out demo that will allow you to try out the gradebook and all of its features. When you first log in, you start at the dashboard. Here you can create messages for the students in your classes. You can also attach files to the messages such as a syllabus. Additionally, you can mark messages with the ability for students and parents to reply to those messages. From here you can quickly access messages, students, gradebook, teacher bio, reports, and accounts. Also, if you click on this icon here, you can invite other teachers, students, and parents to access the gradebook. Now we'll go to the Students tab. This is where you can access all of the information on a student in the ThinkWave system. The ThinkWave system catalogs all of the students in one place, allowing you to enroll all the students in different classes. You can enter students manually here, or go to Setup and Import Students and add the students in a bulk CSV file. You can select the group or grade of students on the left-hand side and the student below. Here you have the student's information, the name, grade level, address, etc. And here you have the ability to upload a photo for that student. Here you have the student ID, which follows the student from year to year allowing accurate transcripts. And by clicking on the icon here on the right, you can create any custom field for that student. And those custom fields can be organized in the custom tabs. Here you can invite a student to access the ThinkWave system. Click Visit Student Account on the upper right hand side, and this will allow you to see how a student views their account. Here they have their assignments, their attendance, and their grades. Now click Return from Visit. Here you have the classes the student is enrolled in. You can enroll the students by clicking here. And here you have the Late Add and Early Withdraw. You can assign groups here. And here you can upload any files you want to associate with that student. Here you can fill in the parent and guardian info for that student. And at any point you can access most features regarding the students by hovering over the Students tab. This is where you can access the main features of the ThinkWave gradebook. The first view is the standard grid-based gradebook. You can enter grades directly by clicking on the field. The grades are calculated automatically. Additionally, you can utilize the quick fill if all the students have the same grade for that assignment. Enter E for excused or M for missing. Excused will not count the assignment for that student. M will give the student a zero grade. You can add assignments by clicking on Add Assignment. Here you can enter the name of the assignment, the date, the type of assignment, and the grade type. You can add a description here, and here you can select if it counts for extra credit, and here you can select to attach files or allow the student to turn in the assignment online. If the assignment is used across several classes, you can add it to any of them here. By hovering on the Gradebook tab, you can go to the class detail. Here you have the course name, how many credits it counts for. You can select the grade type. This is a very flexible area as you can have multiple grade types for different classes. Here you have optional tags which are useful for customized reports. More on that later. And here you can select if it's an honors class or if you would like to exclude it from the report cards and transcripts. Here you can put in an optional section designation. Down here you have the terms. And here you have optional graded standards and skills. Here you can designate the schedule for the class. You can have it meet on different periods on different days. 
And here at the bottom, you can add a section or clone the course if you have two similar courses. Next, by hovering on the Gradebook tab, you can enroll the students here. You can also go to Assignment View and see the details of each assignment for each class. Next, Gradebook by Student gives you a quick overview of the student's grades. And Final Grades and Comments gives you the breakdown of the calculated grade. And here you can enter the override grade. Here you can enter the grades for the standards and skills. And here you can write in a comment for that student. The comments can be up to 5,000 characters. Hovering over the Gradebook tab, you can access the Gradebook options. Here you can select the type of grade you would want per class. To have a class graded differently than the default, click on the name of the class on the left and click the radio button to the right to override the default scale. You can select assignment type weighting. For instance, you can make homework worth 30%, project 20%, quiz 10%, service 0%, and test 40%. As long as it totals 100%, you can have any configuration you want. Next, Hover over the Gradebook tab and select Attendance. You can select the date here. The attendance in the ThinkWave system is quick and automated. There's no need to select Present, as the system will automatically mark a student present unless otherwise noted. You just have to simply select the mark, say if a student is absent or tardy, then save. You even have the option to record minutes or write in a comment, like if you want to write in the student's excuse for being tardy. The Teachers tab is where you can add your name and photo, and if you would like to upgrade to the school-wide system, you can select that here, and add all the teachers to your school. Next, we'll go to the Reports tab. Here, you have access to all the different reports in the ThinkWave system. There are several default reports automatically available, and here you can create your own custom report or ask us to create one for you. Additionally, any reports that have an envelope next to them can be emailed directly out to parents and students. We'll start with the report card. You can select the student on the left here, either by class or all students. Over here, you can select the style of the report from multi-term or single term. And here you can customize the report title that appears in the report. Say if you wanted to create a progress report for a specific term. And here you can select the layout orientation between portrait or landscape. Here you can select the term. And here you can select what options you want displayed in the report, such as including standards and skills, student address, etc. Here you can select if you would like to display the attendance. And here you can select any custom fields. This field allows you to add any custom text. And here you can select the font size. Once you select all of the options, just click Generate. And here you have your report. This can also be printed out or downloaded as a PDF. Next, we'll go over the transcript. Because the student ID follows the student from year to year, you can create a transcript that shows a student's entire academic record. Select the student on the left, and here you can change the report title. Here you can select if you would like to include skills, term percent, or admit the class if there's no mark. You can add any custom text here, and here you can select the options for the font style and the layout. When you've selected all of your options, just click Generate. The Student Summary Report is a great way to get a quick look at how a student is doing. This would be useful to generate before a teacher-parent meeting. 
just select the student on the left, the term on the right, and click Generate. And you have a snapshot of all of the student's classes. A number of other useful reports are the class schedule and missing assignments, as well as the attendance report and the administrative reports. Just select the student or class and click Generate. You can also generate login invitations for students and parents. Just click on the student, and you can either print the invitation or email the student directly. You can also customize the text of the invite letter. We'll get to that in a second. Now we'll go to the Setup tab, where you can customize your ThinkWave experience. Here we have the school name and the address. This is what shows up in the reports header. And here, you can customize the grade levels. You can add or remove grade levels for an extra level of customizability. Here, you can customize groups. And here, you can see all of the files that have been uploaded to your ThinkWave gradebook. You can see how much space has been utilized and how much is still available. And here you can lock or unlock the data in the school year. You must have the year unlocked to make any changes. And here you can roll the data forward from year to year. You can roll over classes, student enrollment, groups, and custom fields. Or you can roll the data back and input historical data. Here, in Schedule, you can customize the school schedule. In Year, you can select the start and end dates of the school year. Here, you can customize the terms and subterms. The one thing to remember is the terms appear on the transcript reports and the subterms do not. But other than that, you can have overlapping terms, so if your school uses one term for lower level students, and another term for high schoolers, then you can have both term structures in the software and just assign the classes to the different term structures. You can have multiple subterms, so you can have progress reports and progress periods, and you can print out on report cards, and that's an area that's very flexible. You can even change the subterm dates once the semester is started. Periods are flexible too. You can change the start and end times of the periods, as well as your own periods for the school. If you have a period that covers the whole day, you can do that as well. If you have a different day schedules, for example minimum day, you can assign different periods to those minimum days. Or you can shorten the periods and remove fifth and sixth period for minimum day if you would like. Here you can set the holidays for certain days of the year, and it would climate those days from taking attendance. Here you can customize your reports. You can select the address format, and here the font. Here you can customize the header that appears on your report. You can also suppress the header if you want to use your own letterhead. You have to specify in inches how much space you need for your letterhead. And here you can upload your school's logo. It must be in a JPEG format. Here, you can further customize the invite logins. You can create your own custom text here. And here, in the settings, you can specify who has access. Here, you can disable mailings. And here, you can add your own blog URL. Here, you can specify the logout URL. So when a student or a parent logs out of the ThinkWave system, they will be redirected to your school's website. And here you have the option to embargo grades. 
if you don't want the grades to go out before a certain date. Here you can select your school's final grade scales. You can add multiple grading scales as you can see here, such as kindergarten grading scale or non-calculated. There's the ability to round grades if you use percentages as a final grade, and also the minimum percent that you allow a student to get if they are to gain credits for the class. To edit the grading scale, you simply click on one of the grades. It gives you the ability to change the grade to a number or any other grade you want. You can put in a description. This site is GPA value, honors GPA value, and the minimum percent that's required to achieve that grade. There's other setup options. Graded skills are something that you can detach to a class, especially lower level classes, such as kindergarten. You can add graded scales and those can be graded. And those graded scales can be added to report cards and transcripts. Here you can customize the assignment types for use in your class. And here you can copy assignments from class to class. Here you can customize your attendance marks. You can add an attendance mark, like if you want a half day. Or you can customize the current marks, like if you want to record minutes for a tardy. So, this is the overview of the Solo Gradebook and the ThinkWave system. If you have any questions, please contact us. The Solo Gradebook is free for an individual teacher to use and does not expire. There's also the optional ability to start a 30-day trial of the school-wide system. If you choose not to use the school-wide system, you can always return back to the individual gradebook. If you would like to request a setup, training session, or a demo, please contact us as well.